National Park is South Africa's number one tourist destination. Very few people are aware of the fact that this magnificent park is also host to a Ramsar wetland. The shortest route to reach the Makuleke Contractual Park in the northern region of the Kruger National Park is to enter the park at either the Punda Maria Gate or at Pafuri Gate. We met Sandra Fasafi, the section ranger Pafuri, on the Levuvu Bridge, accompanied by four well-armed field rangers to take us on a guided tour through the Makuleke region. As it was early winter, the roads were dry and dusty. The area for the Ramsar wetlands starts at Crook's Corner, near the Pafuri border post in the east, and continues west for 43 kilometers all along the Limpopo River, up to the Kruger National Park's western border. There are 31 scattered pans and other wetland types that make up the Makuleke wetlands which received its Ramsar status as wetlands of international importance on the 22nd of May, 2007. Only some of the rivers and pans had visible water levels. During the summer rain season between October and April, roads in this region can be inaccessible for up to nine months. Sandra and her staff know the details of each of these pans, from their names, exact location, their extent, water levels, to the unique plant and animal life that distinguishes one from the next. The wetlands are an excellent example of a floodplain wetland type. Prominent features include riverine forests, riparian floodplain forests, floodplain grasslands, river channels, and flood pans. The Makuleke Contractual Park in the northern region of the Kruger National Park is the result of a groundbreaking land claim agreement between the Makuleke people and the South Africa National Parks Board in 1998. This is a region of amazing diversity and the unique geology has created beautiful and varied topography. The area has both semi-arid vegetation including numerous large baobabs and fever trees, as well as rich riverine forests with large nyala trees. Game is plentiful and includes the big five. One is most likely to encounter nyala, buffalo and bushbuck in the riverine areas. hosts over 350 species of birds with an impressive list of specials including the elusive Pearls Fishing Owl. The Makuleke region is a very sensitive ecosystem with unique trees, plants, birds, frogs and fish. It cannot absorb dense tourist activities and the region is not accessible for general tourists visiting the park. The only way to see and experience this beautiful part of the park is as a guest of one of the three concession holders that operate in the region. The three concession holders in the Makuleke region are the Outpost Lodge, Eco Training and Ellsmore Investments, who will rebuild the Pafuri Camp and start operating it again during 2015. visited the Ivory Trail Monument. The book The Ivory Trail from the author T.V. Bulpin is based on Vekenia's life. It was to the Makuleke region in the early 20th century that Vekenia and a mix of colourful characters were drawn. Punda Maria is one of the oldest rest camps in the Kruger National Park, not far from the Makuleke region. There are 50 campsites available with a waterhole next to the camping ground and a hide overlooking the waterhole. Game species most likely to be sighted include impala, zebra, buffalo, elephant, nyala, eland and sable. We end this video with a glimpse of the Lana Gorge.
Although it's not part of the Ramsar wetlands, it is one of the Makoleke region's most beautiful natural splendors. The gorge hosts the magnificent Luvuvu River. Once again, it is only visitors to the Makoleke contractual park concession holders who can witness this beauty.